My name is Dimitri Whitfield. I'm 24 years old and I was born on Curaçao but raised all my life in Sabre. I'm an academic type by nature and that's the career I want to get into. I did my bachelor's degree at the University of the West Indies in Barbados. I did my major in sociology and my minor in history. And I just completed my master's degree in social and cultural anthropology at the Vrea Universiteit Amsterdam. Why I was interested in anthropology, growing up on Seba, it's very isolating. It's only 2,000 people live there. And I just had this curiosity about everywhere else in the world. I wanted to know how people lived in India, in West Africa, in Europe. And the only way I can do that was by reading or watching documentaries. I think humans are the most interesting thing, the most interesting creature on this planet. And I want to spend the rest of my life learning about us. Professionally, I am interested in giving a voice to oppressed people, and particularly people are in Africa, because I feel that's where my roots are, that's where some of my ancestors came from. And especially in the Caribbean, we have these ideas about Africa. People have ideas about Africa all over the world that are incorrect. And I professionally want to uncover the stories of people who live in Africa, of people who are unknown, of people who have been oppressed, of people who face a hard time in life. And I want to write about them because breaking ignorance, understanding where people come from, is the first step to seeing people as human. Over the next three years, I'll be in Berlin and I'll be finishing my PhD in social and cultural anthropology at the um, Berlin Graduate School of Muslims, Cultures and Societies, where I'll be researching a little known Islamic sect in the Gambia, West Africa, and how they get over the, the discrimination that's put on them by the Gambian government. Where I see myself working is at a university or a research institute or a think tank that focuses on issues related to Africa. So someplace like the African Study Center Leiden and similar institution.